Okay, we're making another knife sheath for this big shiny fella here. This is the knife sheath shaped thing that came with it. It's well, it says Winchester, so it's a Winchester knife, but it's just this flimsy nylon stuff that is. And also, the rivets they intrude to the interior of the sheath, which means that as you put the blade in, they rub the back side of the blade and they can give it scratches. And in fact, I can see a couple of spots on here already where the blade's been scratched by that. It'll it'll serve its purpose. You know, it'll hold a knife and and you can carry it that way, but it's it's just cheesy looking. And in fact the knife can, can even go in backwards. So I'm gonna make one out of leather and I've started the pattern already. And the way I start making a pattern for these is I'll take just a blank sheet of paper, fold it in half, then I'll trace hold this up then I'll trace the knife on it and from that I can figure out where to put the welt where the folds are going to be and basically all the dimensions of the part that's going to hold the blade itself then I'll tape it with a piece of masking tape to another sheet of paper and figure out how the top of it's going to go with the hold down strap which is going to be integral to the knife sheath and um, it's, just, it's just going to be basically a basic knife sheath but you know it's it's gonna have a nice finish on it burnished edges hand stitch and all that right now I'm trying to figure out how I should do the edges how I should do this part right here for the uh, belt loop I'm thinking should I round it off or should I clip the corners on this one there you go on this one here there it is I just clipped the corners of it and I think it came out pretty nice. I might do that again. So, I'm going to take my dividers. Well, actually, this is a compass. And set it to something that looks, oh, pretty good. Let's go from here to here. Eyeballing it. because I want both sides to match. Then I'll take my straight edge and connect the dots. And we'll see how that looks. If I don't like it, then I'll erase it and redo it. If I do like it, I'll go ahead and cut it out and transfer it over to the leather. Yeah, that looks pretty good so far. Let's see. Now, I do have other patterns for other knives. But they weren't quite exact enough. And if you're going to make a custom sheath, then I'm thinking you should go ahead and make the custom sheath to fit the knife exactly. That looks pretty good. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and go with that. So the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and cut this out and transfer this to leather and then cut out the leather. I'll also need a piece. Let me just show you on this knife sheath. Knife sheath. This, uh, this holster here. So the rivet doesn't intrude to the inside I put it on a separate piece of leather and stitch it to the outside so I'm going to need to make a pattern to do that like on this uh, this holster pretty much the same thing has this one this one is a two snap holster so it's bigger put two snaps on it and they don't intrude to the inside so they don't scratch whatever they're trying to protect So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out, design that other piece, transfer it to leather, and we'll be good to go. 
Just thought I'd switch it on real quick <clears throat> while I make this other part where the rivet's going to go. <clears throat> Basically, I eyeballed how wide I want it to be. And actually, that's a bit wide. I'm going to make it a little bit more narrower. Because I don't want it to go around the curve so much. Yeah, I don't want it to be so narrow that I don't look too good. So I'm going to go eyeball it in just a little bit. And just take my pencil and draw a line there. Now let's take a look at that. I'm sorry. That looks good right there. Now, this is going to come across like that. Okay. Let's check what's the knife here. The knife will sit in here. And this will come across here. So that gives me an idea of how far down I want it to curve. And it looks like I'm going to want a pretty good curve out of that. Oops. Got my circle gauge. Let's start with this one. Now I'm going to need a little bit of room for the stitching. But let me go ahead and draw that curve in. Right there. Then I'm going to want to do something on this side. So, this guy comes out. And I just took and bent it. I'm going to want to curve back this way. And then. come back around to other way you squeeze it in a little bit more yeah something like that there and that'll go here. Now let's see how that looks before I go cutting it out. That'll fit there. That'll fit th 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 there. And this will snap there. I want it a little bit lower. No, I want it a little bit lower. So I'm going to go ahead, erase this, and start over. And then I'll cut it out and we'll see what I end up with. Well, this is what I ended up with. That's the sheath. And then you got the belt loop. And it's going to be stitched down to the back. With the, the hold down strap. And this little piece. Is going to go. Right there. So when the knife is in place. I'm going to do this without hacking myself up. The knife will go in there. This piece will go here. The strap will come around and it'll retain that knife in place. And I'm going to use one of these little silver stud things. <laughs> it'll just pop right over that. So now I'm going to set it aside for just a little while, come back to it, take another look at it, and if I still like it, I'll go ahead and transfer it over to leather. But that's pretty much it. Well, I got to clear off my workspace here too. <laughs> 